Are you dealing with lower back pain and want to know how long this pain is going to last? Well, you're in the right place because in this video, we're going to be doing a deep dive on what you can expect on this journey to getting rid of your pain. I'm Dr. Clayton, and this has to be one of the most common questions I receive. And there's one thing that gives me a really good understanding of how long the recovery process for someone is going to be. But before I go over that one thing, I want to let you know at the end of the video, I'm going to be giving you three tips that are going to help speed up these recovery times. How many episodes of lower back pain have you had? This is what allows me to have a really good understanding of how long your recovery time is going to be. I'm going to break it down into three categories. The first category is if you've never experienced lower back pain before in your past and this is the first time. Then you're probably looking at one to two days of discomfort, three to five days until you're back to normal. Second category. Uh, if you have some tightness throughout the year but nothing crazy and this is a big flare up for you, you're probably looking at one week of discomfort, two weeks until you're back to normal. Third category, this is if you always have some lower back tightness but you're experiencing a, a big flare up right now, you're probably looking at four weeks of discomfort and anywhere from six to eight weeks until you're back to normal. But all three of these categories can be sped up if you do these three tips I'm about to give you. If you don't mind hitting that subscribe button, it'd be greatly appreciated. It allows me to keep making these videos so that people can stay active pain-free. First tip, avoid soft surfaces like couches, recliners, booths at restaurants. All those are going to allow you to sit in a bad posture, creating more inflammation prolonging the healing process. If you have trouble sitting without pain, check out this video. It's how to avoid lower back pain while sitting. It will help you out dramatically. Second tip, you have to stay active. Laying around and resting is not going to help you. Find exercises that are not painful. I have a bunch of videos on exercises that you can do for lower back pain, but here is a great core exercise video that you can do to strengthen that core and protect your lower back. The third and final tip, you have to solve why you have the lower back pain in the first place. There's something you're doing throughout your day, through your routine, through your exercise routine that is creating the pain. If you can't solve it, you have to work with a provider that will solve it for you. If you need help, reach out. I'd love to help you. If you have any questions for me, drop them down below. I'll make sure to get back to you. Until next time, keep moving and enjoy the rest of your day.